Korea, the radar system that's highly visible at Pearl Harbor has been deployed, apparently to monitor the North's military activity. The Navy confirms the X-band mobile radar system set sail late last month. Nicknamed the golf ball, it is the world's most powerful mobile radar, radar system. The Pentagon reportedly deployed it to monitor North Korea, which has made numerous military threats in recent weeks. Another Pearl Harbor-based warship will be headed to the region tomorrow. The USS Chung Hoon, a guided missile destroyer will be deployed to the Western Pacific. The U.S. Navy is reportedly deploying the massive floating platform sea-based X-band radar in the North Korea's coast, as part of the escalated tensions between Pyongyang, Seoul and Washington, that suggest a preemptive attack anytime soon. The platform also known as SBX-1 is operated by the U.S. Missile Defense Agency and is by far the largest phased array radar system on Earth. The official version for public entertainment is that SBX-1 is a mobile radar system used for accurate detection of missiles or any other object in space with ballistic trajectories, but conspiracy theorists believe it is a harp weapon fully capable to trigger earthquakes and atmospheric disturbances within any range. North Korea is to restart all nuclear facilities at its Yongbyon nuclear complex. The move further heightens tensions on the Korean peninsula. Pyongyang mothballed the Yongbyon plant as part of the six-party disarmament agreement in 2007. We have to simulate... Whatever wild card the Illuminati shadow government is pulling out through North Korea and United States, a military attack seems to be the most likely scenario, although I do not dismiss a staged event of psychological nature, but assuming it is not a false flag, and the Illuminati are pulling the strings of their puppet Barack Obama for an intervention in North Korea, the deployment of the SBX-1 strongly suggests that environmental warfare is about to be used, and a massive earthquake might happen in North Korea anytime soon. To restrain North Korea from its nuclear development. Most people ignore that the U.S. military had developed technology for environmental modification for decades, and the so-called high-frequency active or oral research program, also known as HARP, is not a scientific research program as advertised by the government. The program, which is based on Nikola Tesla's death ray technology, is under management of the U.S. DOD, USAF and Navy, and uses particle injection devices developed by Raytheon, Lockheed Martin and other military contractors specialized in high-tech mass destruction weapons. The HARP apparatus consists mostly in large phased array facilities known as antenna farms, spread in strategic places like Alaska and Puerto Rico, but apparently the US military have mobile platforms like the SBX-1, that crosses sea distances at high speed, and is fully capable of triggering earthquakes and steering hurricanes. If you are not entirely familiar with this subject, and how HARP technology is used for environmental warfare, in 2008 the late physicist Dr. Mino Frund, whom was director for advanced aerospace materials and devices at NASA's Ames Research Center in California, publicly admitted the relation between electrical disturbances on the planet's ionosphere and earthquakes. These disturbances are not only measurable through optical and infrared spectrometers, but also have been recorded worldwide prior to earthquakes, and are popularly known as harp clouds. Dr. Frund was part of a team of NASA scientists working with experiments for manipulating the structure and measuring levels of stress of rocks, 
through high-intensity ultrasound waves, which certainly have military applications, and proves the existence of environmental modification programs of the US government. But the most interesting detail, is that right after his public statements relating ionospheric disturbances and earthquakes, Dr. Froon suddenly developed brain cancer, and died in 2012. If that was a coincidence or something else I don't know, but he was the only scientist working for the US government to publicly address this matter. According to other scientists who investigated how HARP is used as environmental warfare, such as Dr. Nick Bogich, and the late Dr. Rosalie Bertel, the high-powered radio transmitters at the antenna farms, fire a massive amount of low-frequency microwaves onto the planet's ionosphere, which heats, and reacts firing back the ionized particle beams onto areas, that may or not be military targets. At this point, the ionospheric microwaves interact with Earth's lithosphere causing intense seismic activity. According to non-confirmed sources, the SBX-1 was conducting exercises in the coast of Miami one day prior to the 7.0 earthquake that destroyed Haiti in 2010. It was also reportedly conducting drills in the Sea of Japan before the 9.0 that triggered a massive tsunami in the coast of Honshu in 2011. If the US military is deploying this huge mobile radio transmitter platform in the North Korean coast, expect a vicious and silent military attack in the form of an earthquake of high magnitude, that if turns out to happen, will certainly be reported as a natural event by mainstream media. Considering that the North Korean government still did not attack South Korea or any North American target for what it's worth, a conventional preemptive strike will severely damage Obama's public image, and probably drag China and Russia into the matter. So the odds are, that the US military will carry out an unconventional attack with secret technologies such as HARP. If so, what consequences it will bring, only time will tell.